بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم خاتون حضرات کیسے ہیں آپ آپ کے موڈ کیسے ہیں آپ کے مزاج کیسے ہیں میں آپ کا ہوسٹ دوست درشد بھرتی ہوں آن ایئر درشد بھٹی میں آپ کو خوش آمدید کہتے ہیں خدا رب کریم آپ کو خوش رکھے سلامت رکھے ہنستا مسکراتا رکھے اللہ رب کریم آپ کو آسانی عطا فرمائے اور آسانیاں تقسیم کرنے کی توفیق عطا فرمائے آمین سم آمین آج کے پروگرام میں ہمارے خاص مہمان ہمارے ساتھ موجود ہیں میئر برامٹن پیٹرک براؤن صاحب آج ہمارے ساتھ ہوں گے اور ان سے کچھ گفتگو کریں گے الیکشن کے حوالے سے ابھی وہ کینڈیڈیٹ ہیں میئر اف برامٹن کی جو نیکسٹ ٹرم ہونے جا رہی ہے ایک چیز بڑی امپورٹنٹ ہے اور اس کا بہت ہم سوال بھی کرتے ہیں اکثر لوگ اس پہ بہت بات کرتے ہیں ووٹ ڈالنا کتنا امپورٹنٹ ہے یہ انتہائی امپورٹنٹ ہے ہم خاص طور پہ اپنی کمیونٹی بھی دیکھتے ہیں کہ لوگ اس کو سیریس لیتے ہی نہیں ہیں ہم باتیں بہت کرتے ہیں کچھ سوال کرنا تو بہت سوال کرتے ہیں ووٹ دینے جاتے نہیں ہیں حالانکہ آپ کے لیے بہت آسانی ہے ایڈوانس پولنگ ابھی ختم ہوئی ہے لیکن اس کا ٹرن آؤٹ بھی بہت کم ہے اور ایون الیکشن میں بھی میونسپل الیکشن میں اکثر جو ہے ٹرن آؤٹ کم ہوتا ہے اگر آپ کچھ چیز چاہتے ہیں آپ کے لیے بہت کچھ کیا بھی جاتا ہے ایون برامٹن کے حوالے سے بات کر لیں پیٹرک براؤن صاحب نے بہت کام کیا مسلمانوں کے لیے بہت کام کی پاکستانوں کے لیے بہت کام کیا لیکن ریٹرن ہم کیا دے رہے ہیں کہ ہم ووٹ ہی ڈالنے جا رہے ہیں ہم حمایت کرتے ہیں زندہ باد کے نائر لگاتے ہیں ایونٹس میں بھی جاتے ہیں اور افطار میں بھی جاتے ہیں ہر جگہ جاتے ہیں لیکن ووٹ دینے کے لیے پتہ نہیں کیا بات ہے سمجھ نہیں آتی تو میری آج خاص طور پہ آپ سے ریکویسٹ ہوگی کہ ابھی ٹوینٹی فورتھ آف اکٹوبر منڈے ہوگا ووٹنگ کے لیے ضرور جائیے گا سارا دن پڑا ہے کوشش کریں ایڈوانس پولنگ میں آپ نے ووٹ نہیں ڈال سکیں تو اس دن ٹائم نکال کے جتنے بھی فیملی کے ممبران ہیں برامٹر میں تو بہت لوگ رہتے ہیں پچاس ہزار سے زائد شاید پاکستانی وہاں پہ رہتے ہیں تو آپ کو تھوڑا سا جس کو ووٹ دیں لیکن اگر اوور آل آپ سچویشن دیکھیں تو پیٹرک براؤن صاحب نے جتنا کام میرے خیال میں پاکستانی یا مسلم کمیونٹی کے لیے کیا بہت کام ہے اگر آپ اس کو کمپیئر کر لیں تو تو میری آپ سے یہ ضرور ریکویسٹ ہوگی پروگرام کے آغاز میں کہ آپ ٹوینٹی فورتھ آف اکٹوبر کا دن یاد رکھیے گا اور ووٹ ضرور ڈالیے گا ہمارے ساتھ موجود ہیں وی ویلکم میئر پیٹرک براؤن میئر تھینک یو ویری مچ اینڈ ویلکم یو ان ٹرانو تھری سکسٹی ٹی وی گریٹ ٹو بی بیک اٹ ٹرانو تھری سکسٹی ٹی وی تھینک یو ویری مچ ہاؤ از کمپین از گوئنگ گڈ یا اٹس جسٹ ون ویک لیفٹ اینڈ سو ور فوکس ڈاؤن آن میکنگ شور ایون کمز آؤٹ اینڈ ووٹس But I'm excited to go back to City Hall with a larger mandate so I can work on behalf of Bramptonians. So you don't uh, know one sunrise and one sunset? Or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are long days these days, that's for sure. So uh, first question, uh, fair to ask, uh, what are the achievements? Normally we have to ask mm-hmm. in the last four years, what have you achieved? Yeah, what I think we've had some extraordinary achievement in the last four years. We lobbied successfully to get a new hospital, $1.1 billion investment or construction starts this year. Finally, we got a med school coming to the city in 2025, a new regional cancer center being added to Brampton Civic, two new rec centers, Embleton's approved, Riverstone we just opened last week, new international size soccer dome at Save Max, uh, <clears throat> huge investments in cricket and field hockey, um, just to name a few accomplishments, not to mention we got Algoma now in the downtown, um, we've had some major economic development wins. Mm. MDA, um, which is one of the largest aerospace investments in the, in the country, in Brampton, uh, Boston Scientific, we, we landed in Brampton, the new Electra facility, so good paying jobs in our city. We've added 84 transit buses, brought in free transit for seniors, we mm-hmm. froze municipal property taxes. Um, I could go on about things yeah, we've done for a while, while. so there's, there's a list of, of, yeah. of achievement. Yeah. So what you could not achieve, there will be some uh, projects you could not achieve. Yeah, so, you know, there were some issues that I didn't have a majority of support around the table for. Um, I want to have a university in Brampton for young people. Yeah. I believe a young person in Brampton deserves the same rights as a young person in Guelph or Waterloo or Kingston or Thunder Bay or Sudbury, smaller communities have the that have universities. Yes. Yeah. But I had six counselors around our council table that said they don't want a university. And so... Uh, five voted with me to say yes, but I hope the next term of council will have councillors that support my ambitious agenda for the city. Um, another example is I want to see a multi-purpose cricket stadium mm-hmm. um, to host major events. We could have uh, Kabaddi there, cricket, you could have uh, soccer, you could have some major events, mm-hmm. but I had council say no. Um, so I do hope we can continue to the make... very surprising fact that there's no university in Brampton. Why it is? Because it's a big community. There hasn't been the political will. And sure. so my goal is to create the political will that I can get a majority around the table that pushes for, for that for Brampton. You started your political career in 2000, right? From the city council. Time flies. Does your passion, politics? Why were you in the politics? You know, I love public service. I mm. think if you're in it for the right reasons, um, you can... Uh, leave a legacy of accomplishment. You know, my training is I'm a lawyer, 
And if I was looking to, to make money, I would go to Bay Street. But for me, it's about um, making a difference. And what I love about municipal public service is you can design a rec center and you drive by two years later and it's there. And you see kids using that pool or using that uh, soccer field mm -hmm. or baseball diamond. Um, when you see an area that doesn't have a transit bus, you can create a transit route. Mm -hmm. you know, municipal governance it really is about bettering your community. You were in the controversies most of the time. You can say in the um, provincial leadership and the federal leadership, even in uh, the council, there people are some were not supporting you. Why it is? It's you're you're so aggressive, or people are afraid of you. So I think it's a little bit of, of both. Um, so I'm not interested in just treading water and. Mm -hmm and maintaining the status quo. There's no controversy if you just maintain the status quo. But I've tried to um, do what's right. Um, and so you create, when you, when you challenge an old guard, it, it's controversial. Like in the Conservative Party, I challenged them mm -hmm. on not opposing Bill 21. I challenged them on being on the wrong side of the Islamophobia debate. So that might have ruffled feathers. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I, I don't hesitate. Um, speaking out and um, articulating what I believe is uh, the right decision. Uh, in politics, you shouldn't shy away from doing what's right, even if it's more convenient to do so. But in the end, the result was in your favor. Like, it yeah, was in all, in in all favor. cases yeah, where I've faced controversy, I've been vindicated. Yeah. And so and I'll continue, I'll continue to, to follow um, my principles and do what I believe is right. Well, we're talking about the Brampton. There's a lot of problems in Brampton, especially the theft, the crime rate, the carjacking. So we, what you did for that? So I've added 180 Peel police officers, additional mm -hmm. 180. I've got a new police division approved for Loggerfield Road, which is going to be constructed. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, also brought in CCTV cameras to help with police investigations. We've doubled the mental health funding for uh, having the right responses for, um, for the right calls. We've also got successfully lobbied to get gun and gang funding for the Peel Police. Mm -hmm. I'm proud to say that I've been endorsed by the Peel Police Association. My campaign is the only campaign that has their endorsement. Um, I have a plan for the next four years to address public safety, 250 new officers, 30 civilian staff, um, increased investments in mental health, get the new div police division built. And I believe if you give the chief the resources to do his job, he'll be able to keep us safe. All right, fair enough. And what about in another uh, very important matter, but it's not maybe in the uh, municipal domain, is the auto insurance. Mm -hmm. The postal code discrimination, the people mm -hmm. who are living in Brampton, they're living so much if you compare it with the other mm -hmm. cities. So did you, uh, uh, any plan to talk with the provincial government? Or? Yeah, so that's not in the municipal jurisdiction. Yeah, I know. We, that's did, why we did present a petition, which we mm -hmm. presented to, to the provincial government mm -hmm. to get rid of postal code discrimination. We'll continue to be a voice to uh, address and reconcile the insurance inequities that exist in Ontario. But ultimately, that would be a provincial decision. Yeah, I know. Uh, what is feedback you're getting from the, especially for the Muslim community or the Pakistani community, when door knocking or going? Yeah, to so it's it's been very favorable. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, uh, there's a ton of support out there. My only worry is we just need to get a better voter turnout. Um, as much as there could be a ton of goodwill in the community, if you don't get out and vote, um, it, it is not it does not materialize. And what uh, in the response? Like I I saw you did a lot of work for the Pakistani mm -hmm. or Muslim community. If you talk about the uh, mosque, Makki Mosque, mm -hmm. uh, Biyadar Mosque, uh, for the permit and a lot of other things. You did a lot. One of the benefits of having a very close relationship with the community is when there's issues, I can attend to them. Mm -hmm. And so when there was issues at different masjids, I was able to help. When there was the issue at Masjid Ibrahim, we were able to solve it. When they needed the lights at uh, Makki Masjid, I was able to solve it. Uh, so for me, it's been a, a pleasure to be able to help the community um, get through some of the headaches that they were stuck with um, in, in the years before. Um, I, I'm honored by the support we're getting in the community, um, and I'm going to do everything I can to, to, to not let the community down. Uh, in the politics, uh, some people say everything is fair in mm -hmm. politics mm -hmm. and war. 
I saw one tweet from uh, the other candidates uh, campaign manager mm -hmm. it's about the against the Islam mm -hmm. so what's your take on that so you know, the fact that uh, one of my opponents campaign managers would tweet something as horrible as Islam is poison oh, see, yeah. um, is vulgar it's offensive um, it's vile and um, frankly people like that guy don't deserve our attention um, it's a hate crime. Um, yeah. It's 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 you, you, you don't preach hate against other faiths, and so um, yeah, I just think it's very unbecoming and wrong. And you uh, uh, you just mentioned about the Islamophobia and the hate crime. So how we can cope with this because it exists here. So we try the only thing uh, that we should educate the people. What else? on the city level you can do well can. I think good people need to speak out when they see hate and I think I've shown whether it was the noise bylaw debate or bill 21 that I never sit quiet in the face of hate and Islamophobia I call it out I challenge it we were the first city in Canada to adopt all of NCCM's recommendations on combating Islamophobia um, we led the charge against the, the bigotry in bill 21 uh, led the national charge against that discriminatory bill so I'll continue to be a ferocious uh, force against Islamophobia and hate. Aisa, you're uh, always on the side of Muslims. Mm. Pakistan is Muslim and especially you arranging Aftar every year. So are you getting the equal response from them in the elections, like in the advanced poll? Now? Yeah, so listen, the support's been great. I'd like to see turnout higher. Yes, um, important thing. But um, yeah, I, I know there's a lot going on. But my challenge to the community is, I will always have your back. I will fight against discrimination, hate, um, and Islamophobia. But my plea to the community is, we can't take elections for granted. And I need you to, to spread the message to your friends, your family, your neighbors, um, to vote. You know, for, for, for some of the bigots and Islamophobes that are campaigning against me, mm -hmm. The best way to send them a message is to vote. Yeah, that's right. If, if the Ravi Hudas and the Nick Kuvalises of the world and the rebel medias that preach Islamophobia, if they are widely defeated, not by a small margin, by a large margin, it will send a message that their politics of hate is not welcome here. So normally politicians don't believe, uh, like the, in their interviews, they don't say that they believe on the polls. But even though, whatever the polls we saw in mm -hmm. Canada, it's mm -hmm. almost 5-10% uh, change. Mm -hmm. You are over 60%. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry about that. Well, I actually think the opposite. I think you can never take anything for granted. And no, no matter what the polls say, you have to work hard. Um, and you know, I never, I'm never someone that will rest on my laurels. I'm never someone that will uh, take it easy. I'll always uh, work hard every day. Mayor of Mississauga, mm -hmm. they want to be their own entity mm -hmm. and there's a uh, Mississauga, mm -hmm. not in the Peel region. So what's your take? Anything that saves taxpayers money, I'm open for. Okay. Last time Mississauga pro proposed this, mm -hmm. we had a report done by Deloitte that said it would cost a billion dollars more. It would cost more for Mississauga residents, cause their taxes to go up, cost mm -hmm. more for Brampton and Caledon. And if the mayor of Mississauga came to me and said it could save money, I'd consider it. Really? But um, right now, the only report we have says that if you create three police forces, three paramedics, three water facilities, it will cost a lot more. Mm -hmm. Right now, we get savings through pooling those costs. Yeah. And if you have three chiefs of police and three police headquarters and three paramedic headquarters and three water facilities, costs skyrocket. And so mm -hmm. right now, families have inflationary pressures. Mm -hmm. um, I'd have to see a plan that wouldn't cost uh, taxpayers uh, more money. Doug Ford, the premier, has said he doesn't support yep. anything that will cause taxes to go up. Mm -hmm. So right now, all the data says it would cost a lot of money. So unt until Mayor Crombie comes to me with a plan that wouldn't cost taxpayers more, um, I can't support it. Right. So uh, there's a lot of uh, good candidates and the, uh, they're running for the councillors, the regional council mm -hmm. in Brampton. So will you be endorsing some of them? So listen, there's some good candidates um, that I think very highly of. Mm -hmm. um, 
and you know I'm not running a slate per se, but you know I have spoken mm -hmm. about the caliber uh, of some of the candidates. I look at like Rowena Santos and Paul Vasante mm -hmm. in the downtown, the exceptional work they've done. Michael Pileshi in the West End, Harkirat Singh in the East End has been a really strong city councillor. I look at this new candidate in the downtown, Dennis Keenan, mm -hmm. who owns uh, two restaurants and an electrical company, brings a lot of business experience to City Hall. Mm -hmm. He's running a very impressive campaign. So, you know, I share with residents my thoughts on some of the impressive resumes of, of individuals, mm -hmm. but ultimately it's up to residents to decide course, for themselves. Yeah. So any Pakistani candidates? There are some strong candidates. Yeah. You look at Mohammed Shoeb is an impressive yeah. candidate mm -hmm. running um, in the East End. Yeah. I know he's done a lot in, in, in the cricket community. Yeah. Um, I've worked with him on some issues that have affected, uh, I worked with him on, on the Mazda Drive uh, for uh, the Great Lakes uh, uh, Moss. So there are impressive candidates from mm -hmm. uh, the Pakistani Canadian community. Um, and if you look at the success of Shafkar Ali, mm -hmm. um, that if you work hard, um, anything's possible. You know, Shafkat, um is now a member of parliament, doing very well for the city of Brampton, mm -hmm. um, very accessible. And he worked the hardest in the nomination, and he yeah. won. Yeah. And so I think for members of the community, use Shafkat. Um, as, a, as a role model, role model and, yes, and right. replicate his, his efforts. And one more person who is just, we can say, is that your out, outreach for the Pakistani community mm -hmm. is Mian Adim. <laughs> yeah, Mian's, uh, <laughs> Mian's been a great champion and, and, and a great friend. I've uh, got so many wonderful friends in the community. I'm, I'm very uh, blessed. I think most of the Pakistani community like you mm -hmm. and they want you to be uh, mm -hmm. next mayor of uh, Brampton. So overall, uh, what message you want to give to our listeners or South Asian community or Pakistani community or Muslim I, community? My message is uh, over the next week, if you could spread the word uh, to send Mayor Brown back to City Hall with a bigger mandate. Uh, spread the word on your Facebook, on your social media, uh, to your friends, your family, your neighbors, and let's have a fantastic turnout on Election Day so we can have a big celebration that night. One or two questions just came into my mind. Uh, it's not even the domain of the uh, municipal mm -hmm. uh, in the city council. The affordable housing, it's nowadays, it's, it's a problem for everybody. So any plan, any projects going on in the Brampton? For the we do have a Peel Region Affordable Housing Plan. Mm -hmm. uh, the region has put in $333 million. Mm -hmm. uh, the federal government has put in $335 million, And now we're lobbying the province to put in an equal amount so that our affordable housing plan will be fully funded so that we can deal with the wait list that exists for affordable housing in Peel Region. Mayor Brown, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yes, now Mayor Brown was talking about it. It's very important. Look, when you have an election or a conflict, you have to compare who is better and who is not. You have to see the track record of the other people. You have to see the record of the four years. Okay, there will be some issues with them. But in the end, these positive things have come. Whether you have to see their provincial leadership or federal leadership. At the least, they have got a benefit. And now this is a big area. The mayor of Brampton is a very big place where the South Asian people live. So the mayor is also very good. And now they have a lot of chances. The request you have to do is to remember that the 24th October, remember that you have to put a vote. This is a very big problem. And especially in Pakistani community, in the Muslim community, it is said that you don't vote. So at the least, you have to end this myth. You have to end this myth. جائیے ووٹ ڈالیے اور ہم کم از کم یہ کہہ سکیں کہ اگر ہم کچھ مانگ رہے ہیں تو کچھ دے رہے ہیں وہ دینا ہمارا ووٹ ہی ہے تو چوبیس اکتوبر کو ووٹ ضرور ڈالیے گا یہ ہماری آپ سے ریکویسٹ ہے دعا میں رکھے گا یاد حوصلہ نہیں ہارنا پر حوصلہ بھی کوہانے کی چیز ان آلویز فالو یو ہارٹ کیونکہ سب اچھے کی آواز سٹوڈیو جنر طلاب ہٹی اپنے مزبان رشد بھٹی کو دیجئے اجازت اللہ حافظ اور سپ My name is Mayor Patrick Brown and I'm running for re-election. I'm asking for your support. Over the last four years, I've been one of the country's leading voices against hate, intolerance and Islamophobia. 
Brampton was the first city in Canada to adopt all of NCCM's recommendations on combating Islamophobia. When no one would speak up against the bigoted Bill 21 that prohibited being a government worker and wearing a hijab, I stepped up. I challenged that bigoted bill and 30 cities joined my fight against that bill because a Canadian is a Canadian is a Canadian and no one should lose their job based on their faith. When I saw acts of discrimination in, in Brampton, I challenged it. I fight misinformation with education. It's why I host my own iftar every year and fast with the community. I'm doing everything I can to build harmony and to build a city where religious freedom is at the cornerstone of who we are. Thank you for your support over the years. Please come out and vote in this upcoming municipal election. Ikratul Quran Online Academy Jo de rahi hai aapko Buniyadi 6 kalme Nurani Kaida Aur Talafuz Tajweed Quran Tilawat Quran Paak Aur Tarjuma Nazra Aur Hifz Quran 2 saal mein mukammal karne ki guarantee 5 din muft tajrubati classes weekend classes ki sahulat ala taleem yafta male and female asatza ke zere nigrani hum America England Canada Australia Gulf and Europe mumalik mein apni khidmat faraham kar rahe hain and A level के लिए असाचा की सहूलत मजीद मालूमात के लिए राबता करें अस्लाम अलेकुम मेरा नाम हामी जकबर है और मैं कैंडिडेट हूँ वार्ड 5 का मिसेस सागर काउंसिल के लिए इसकी बाउंडरी जो है मिसेस सागर वार्ड 5 की वो स्टार्ट होती है एकलिंगटन और मेविस के कोने से और हम जाती है ऑल द वे टू मॉल्टन मेन रीजन जो है रन करने का वो ये है कि हमें तीन चीजों पे फोकस कर रहा हूं सबसे पहला जो है वो रिव्यू ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी टैक्स है दूसरा जो है मेरा वो है प्रॉपर रिप्रेजेंटेशन का हमारी रिप्रेजेंटेशन नहीं है तीसरा जो है हमारा जो है इस नो रिमूवर फ्रॉम द कर्व साइड तो ये तीन रीजन जो है मेरे इंपॉर्टेंट है सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट चीज जो है आप एक डेट नोट कर लें मंडे अक्टूबर 24 2022 वो इलेक्शन डे है मिसेस सागर में उस दिन आप लोगों को जाकर के वोट डालना है और उम्मीद है कि आप हमें ये वोट डालेंगे क्योंकि मेरे तीन इशू जो हैं आपको तक पहुंच चुके हैं Sunshine Radio proudly presents the biggest and largest South Asian Designers Expo and Diwali Entertainment in GTA on Sunday, October 30th at Capital Convention Center, Mississauga from 12 noon till midnight. Enjoy shopping, player, clothing, jewelry, churiya, food, dance, bhangra, dandy entertainment and much more. No tickets, free parking. For stall booking, call Shaheen Khan or Matanat Khan at 416-825-9275. Greetings fellow Miltonians, I am Mahmoud Chaudhary. Appliances is your number one destination for electronics and appliances. Choose from TVs and home audio that will entertain your whole family. To home comfort essentials for your living space and a wide selection of appliances to build your perfect kitchen. From selection to delivery, Dixie Electronics is everything you need. Price match guarantee and 0% financing available. All under one roof. Come today at 5120 Dixie Road, Mississauga or visit the website at dixieelectronics.ca. Greetings, this is Kiran Faim Ali. I'm just returning back from the door knocking. I am your candidate. 
for the town councillor Ward 4 Milton. If I haven't still come at your door, I will be coming soon. Let's come together on October 24th and elect me, Karen Faim Ali, as your town councillor for Ward 4 Milton. Let's vote together, change together. See you soon. Events mark successes in our lives. Come and host your next event at Galaxy Grand Convention Center Brampton, an elegantly designed contemporary convention, banquet hall, wedding venue and conference center, prime convenient location close to Mississauga, Milton and Oakville, with extensive parking spaces, more than 23,000 square feet of space, with capacity of up to 1,100 guests, celebrate wedding, corporate and social events. Treat your guest with a tasty cuisine menu created by our award-winning chefs. Galaxy Grand Convention Center, where every guest is a star. Book your event today. Call 905-458-9888 or visit galaxygrand.ca. के लिए विजिट करें अपनी करीबी फार्मेसी या हमारी वेबसाइट www.greenish.com रोशन मुस्तकबिल और अपनों का साथ जन्नत से कम नहीं आप भी कनाडा को अपना घर बना सकते हैं और अपनों को पास बुला सकते हैं एक्सपीरियंस्ड एंड रेगुलेटेड इमिग्रेशन कंसलटेंट शहबाज अकबर के साथ मास्टर ऑफ बिजनेस क्लास इमिग्रेशन एक्सप्रेस एंट्री स्किल क्लास इमिग्रेशन रेफ्यूजी क्लेम एंड फैमिली स्पॉन्सरशिप कॉल नाउ एट फोर वन सिक्स एट फाइव फाइव नाइन फोर सिक्स फोर ग्रीन स्टार इमिग्रेशन सोल्यूशन कैनेडा Do you know why professionals like you work with accountants like us? Because at Dean and Associates, we treat your business like our own and give you the best tax advice according to your specific situation. Dean and Associates experienced CPAs and tax accountants have helped hundreds of clients and successfully managed their accounting and tax scenarios. With over 45 years of combined experience, Dean and Associates Accounting is a leading choice for incorporated professionals, small to medium-sized businesses, death and estate taxes, U.S.-Canada cross-border taxation, audits, reviews, and other assurance engagements, profit, non-profit, and registered charities, CFO services, and non-resident tax matters. Whether you need CRA and IRS representation or you're looking for a leading edge tax strategy, we would be most pleased to help you at our five convenient locations across Ontario. Call Dean and Associates Accounting today at 647-273-3094 or visit deanandassociates.ca. Talhavati serve you the best. Talhavati of Cityscape 647-295-7861. Pre-construction projects, residential and commercial properties. Special packages for first-time home buyers. A member of dedicated real estate professional team. Talhavati of Cityscape 647-295-7861. Then let Talhavati serve you the best. With 
आईसीसी इमिग्रेशन के आर डी और उनकी प्रोफेशनल टीम हेड ऑफिस में सिसागा ऐसी आपको सर्व कर रही है बिजनेस वीजा स्टूडेंट वीजा वर्क परमिट स्पॉन्सरशिप या किसी भी प्रूफ कैटेगरी में आप अपने प्यारों को कैनेडा बुनाना चाहते हैं तो अभी कॉल कर ले नाइन ओ If you are looking for a reliable, professional and affordable travel agency in your town, then your search is over. Global Travel and Tours is your personal travel partner. Our dedicated staff always ready to make your trip hassle-free, memorable and cost-effective. We will assist you with hotel reservations, the transportation, visa assistance and travel insurance. Please give us a call right now at 1-877-275 3555 वक्त के साथ साथ हर चीज की कीमत बढ़ती है मगर कामयाब है सिर्फ वो लोग जो इसकी घन गरज को समझते हैं तो मिलिए रियल स्टेट मार्केट के एक्सपीरियंस्ड रियल स्टेट प्रोफेशनल वाजिद मलिक से जीटीए में रियल स्टेट मार्केट के हर अंदाज से वाकिफ आप फर्स्ट टाइम बायर हैं या एग्जिस्टिंग ओनर जो घर खरीदना या बेचना चाहते हैं कॉन्टेक्ट नाउ वाजिद मलिक एट फोर वन सिक्स एट टू सेवन थ्री 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 वाजिद मलिक ट्रस्टेड नेम इन द कम्युनिटी A criminal charge can be an ugly and nasty surprise. Don't let bad decisions or unfortunate circumstances take control of your life. The criminal lawyers at Alam Law Chambers will listen to your story and develop the best defense for you. Nothing in life is more important than your freedom. Reliable and affordable, Alam Law. A harsh but true reality is that clean drinking water is inaccessible to many people living in third world countries. With the support of our donors, Muslim Welfare Canada has been successful in providing clean water through the digging of water wells and the installation of hand pumps for people living in remote and desert regions. Donate a well for $2000 or a hand pump for $600. Call 1-866-754-3111 or visit mwcanada.org. professionals at TM Law providing professional services in the GTA in the areas of civil litigation criminal defense family matters and real estate serving the community in English Punjabi Hindi and Urdu for more information call Tahir Majid barrister and solicitor at 647-838-4773 or you can visit tahirlaw.ca Managing your own business can be a lot of work. A professional accountant always makes a difference. It's imperative that your accountant keeps your finances simple, accurate, and confidential. Audited? Need help? That's why we chose Scans Accountants. They make you feel at ease knowing you and your business are in good hands. Scans Accountants, team of professionals. Team Farhan Mortgage Solutions designed for you. 15 year experience of mortgage services, customized mortgage solutions as per your need. Commercial, residential, construction and agricultural mortgage. Our lowest mortgage rate. At Team Farhan, we're here for all your mortgage needs. Team Farhan ko ek dafa khidmat ka zaroor mauka dijiyega. Uh, and this is my personal promise to you you will not be disappointed at, at team for home we, we have, have a mortgage, mortgage solution designed for you 416-569-9294 or log on to www.teamforhan.com assalam
مسجد نور الحرم ایک شاندار روحانی تعمیراتی منصوبہ ماشاء اللہ ورلڈ اسلامک مشن کینیڈا خوشی سے اعلان کرتے ہیں کہ مسجد نور الحرم کی تعمیر کا کام شروع ہو گیا ہے اس پروجیکٹ کا ڈیزائن اور تفصیلات آپ یوٹیوب پر مسجد نور الحرم اوکفل ٹائپ کر کے دیکھ بھی سکتے ہیں اس شاندار روحانی مرکز کی تعمیر میں مالی تعاون کر کے اس کی تکمیل میں حصے دار بنیے ڈونیشن کے لیے کال کریں نائن او فائیو ٹو فائیو سیون If you are looking for an honest, dependable, and trustworthy auto repair facility, consider Z Auto Center for your foreign and domestic vehicles. Here at Z Auto Center, we pride ourselves in being professional, reliable, and affordable. Our certified technicians have years of experience working on all types of vehicles, special packages for Uber, Lyft, taxi, and driving school car safety inspection, winter, summer, and all-season tire packages available, best selection of used cars for sale. We are family-owned and operated business located at 3670 St. Clair Avenue East, just east of Midland Avenue in Scarborough. Call us today at 416-462-3050 or visit zautocenter.com.